tough game that you had tonight. It seemed like every three that you shot was going in. Just, just talk about your performances and how hard you worked you know, to get to this point. Uh, I mean, it's I have the easy part. All I have to do is go out there and just step in and shoot it. When you have teammates and coaches like we have that believe in me and want me to shoot the ball as much as possible, it makes it really easy to go out there with confidence and shoot the ball. And that's kind of my role on the team. And they do a great job of trying to find me and put me in positions to uh, be successful. Talk about that energy switch in the second half. It seems like you guys were a whole different team, and both of you kind of fed off of each other. Just kind of mm -hmm. talk about that, and how much fun is it for you guys when you get to that point in the game? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we just happened to be clicking in the second half. Uh, shots were falling, and uh, you can go out there and play together. I mean, we're brothers. We're always together on and off the court. So, I mean, we're playing with our friends out there, so it makes it fun when everyone's hitting shots. and. Uh, you're making the extra pass to the open guy. How important was it for both of you to kind of have this bounce back game from, from Monday's game in Baylor? Uh, it was very important. Uh, coming off a uh, bad shooting night and regaining our confidence for Saturday, uh, for Wednesday, uh, it was a very important game for us. It's just sort of the shooter's life, you know, sometimes you're on, sometimes you're not. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Baylor, we both, I mean, they're good shots we were taking. They just weren't falling. Uh, that's how basketball goes sometimes. And uh, it's got to... We know we can make those shots, they're good shots, and we just have to keep taking them. And tonight, they were falling, and that was the only difference. Mark, what are you thinking when you're down 24-11 at home, it's really quiet, calls don't seem to all be going your way? What are you thinking at that point? Uh, we just have to settle the guys down and, and uh, we, withstand the pressure that they was putting on us. Uh, we just started attacking and getting the ball to the rim and things like that and uh, getting kickoffs for for Keaton, I mean, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> getting shots with Phil in the corner. Yeah, let's, let's get back in the game. I got so you're, you're not superstitious about an alpha number change or anything. No, I mean I can't complain. The 13 were good today, so I mean I, I'm gonna stay with that number. I mean I understand the circumstance and everything, so I mean it's out of my control. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean obviously for a good reason. So with 13, did you pick that or was that just the next book? Uh, it was the only extra jersey they had, and so that was that was the reason I got 13. So uh, they just told me this is the number. Uh, we have to give you this for now. If you want to change it next year, you can. I mean, as for now, I plan on keeping 13. Seriously, that's the that's the reason. Yeah, that was the only reason I got 13. The only other jersey we had. So. Would you have chosen a different number? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I prob honestly probably would have, but I mean, I guess it happened for a reason, and so I'm definitely gonna stay with it. Mark, it seems like once you build that number, you kind of gotta go a little bit. With uh yeah uh like I was saying I I got Phil open for some shots he got me some assists so I, I had to return a favor for him <laughs> uh but yeah uh, we took a lot of good shots today and they was falling like you were saying how big was the zone for you guys uh I mean it was just we're mainly a man uh, defensive team and uh, the zones is kind of something we always throw out uh, at other teams just to kind of get them off guard. And when we went to the zone, though, it was, that's when we kind of started our run, and it was working really well for us. So, uh, I mean, it was working, so we said, why change it? And so we kind of stayed in it, and that's what kind of helped spark our run and get us going. Phil, you uh, gave Marco, I'm, I'm sorry, Marcus that pass, and he had the emphatic one-hand slam. Mm -hmm. How big was that moment to go up by 15 midway through the second half? That uh, was real big, uh, especially we had the crowd kind of going at that time, and uh, we got a defensive play. I looked up, and he was open, and so he just made the – the big finish, of course, a dunk always gets the crowd going, so it's good to get that momentum going, and then the arena gets louder, and so we kind of speed off that, so it's big for us. Was it nice to give the assist to Marcus and said by the first Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he always does a great job of finding not just me, but anyone else. So anytime I can uh, flip flip the page, flip the script, it's always uh, nice. I mentioned that spot where you guys are down 24-11. He hits three, and you steal the inbound. Just right there, it seemed like the whole momentum maybe shifted a little bit. Yeah, uh, he made a big shot. I found him in the corner. Uh, and then on the pursuing play, the uh, guy tried to throw it in the corner, and I stole it and threw it up to LeBron. And I don't know what he did with it, but <laughs> 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 I think it worked out. Uh, yeah, but, you know. Mark, same question. When both of your shots are falling like that, how much fun is it for you as a player and, and how do you guys uh, it's very fun, like you said, going out there, playing with your friends, uh, making shots, uh, letting the game come to you. Uh, it makes everything easy. Uh, you get into a flow, a rhythm. And from that point when we was making shots, uh, I feel like I wasn't going to miss after that.
I mean, that's something we really can't control. Uh, it's out of our power, and so, uh, I mean, refs, they're human, they make mistakes too, and uh, not every call is gonna go your way, so that's something you just have to move on throughout the game and just come together as a unit and just move on to the next play. That's what we did today. Anything else? Thanks, gentlemen, appreciate it. Thank you.